Hello everyone, it's Kratz, aka The Itaka, and it is time for this week's uh, haul video. It's for the last two weeks, so um, it covers February 21st through March 6th, because it has been very slow pickings around here during winter. Um, so I kind of had two themes go on this week, uh, bunnies and spring and birds. Um, not everything I bought fits in those two categories, but those seem to have been my categories when I was shopping. So, this I actually bought on the day I bought all the bunnies, but it was my first bird item of the two weeks. It is a Satsuma Japan scalloped bowl. I paid 95 cents. There is a little bit of fading of some of the gold trim, uh, but overall the condition is very good. There's no chips or cracks, and every panel has its peacocks on it. So I thought that was cute, and the inside ha has more floral, so that kind of fit the floral pattern I was getting. Um, so this kind of fit more florals. It's got butterflies, and we need to poo, and piglet, I think, is on here, maybe? Nope. Piglet was on the other example I looked up. Uh, this cost me 50 cents. It's called Summer Poo and is part of the Disney character Teapot collection. It's from, I believe, 2005. It says limited produ production through December of 2005. So when I post this, I'll have to go on eBay or Macari because it is too new for Etsy. <laughs> And the first bunny rabbit thing I found was this cute little cup. Now, I have another cup that's very similar to this that's uh, got similar Peter Rabbit characters on it, but it's made of plastic. This one's actually like a regular coffee cup feeling. So this says, Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. So I never pass up... Peter Rabbit stuff. Um, the inside is dirty, but not stained. It's obviously very dusty. It was sitting somewhere for a while. And this was the only rabbit figurine I found. I paid 75 cents. It says made in Malaysia for Humco, 1990, but it's called He Loves Me. So it's a boy and a girl bunny and there's a little flower and it just was the, the only one that was actually somewhat of a quality piece. There. I think I just have to clean him up a little. Uh, then my next bunny item was this plush bunny for 75 cents. I believe he was marked from 1989 by American Greeting Corps company, Bloomer Bunny. And he's so clean, it is ridiculous, but I'll still spray him with my uh, disinfectant kids toy spray that I have. But he looked different than all the other bunnies. He definitely has that more vintage feel to him. He's even got these little eyelashes. Um, I'll have to take the hanger off that they put the tag on. But I uh, this was pretty cute. Little Easter rabbit. <laughs> this is the first thing I found in the two weeks. This was a dollar at Goodwill. It is a dolphin bottle opener. So you have the bottle cap opener there. And then you actually have a screw cap opener underneath. Now, the only condition issue is someone wrote a marker of an R in there. We'll have to see if that comes out. But I thought it was a very cute piece of brass that, if it didn't sell, would look great on my bar anyway. Uh, this was Dad's find today for Ishberming. A little plastic container uh, to hold insurance paperwork in, in his van. So... Then I threw this in. It is a tie. It is marked 1994 Ralph Marlin and Company, the Periot Table. And I don't do ties that often, but I thought that was enough of a nerdy, geeky thing where someone would actually be wearing a tie in that profession to make it appropriate to have a tie in that uh, pattern. Where sometimes I'm like, yes, let's let's make a biker tie. But bikers don't generally have to wear ties unless they have a certain day job. You're not wearing a tie while you're riding your motorbike. So um, it, it does need a steaming, and I'm going to just list it as is 
because no matter when I package it, it's going to get wrinkled in the mail. No matter what I do, no matter how well I package it, that's just how it goes. So, um, and back to the bird theme. I found this in the Christmas section, even though it's not Christmas. It says, I keep trying to lose weight, but it keeps finding me. And it's an ostrich with its head in the ground. <laughs> Thought that was cute for 60 cents. And then I paid up a little. Normally I'd only pay like a dollar a glass, but it was $5 for the set. Um, just a little bit of the silver trim on top is fading a bit, but the uh, images of the birds are all good. So you have, this is like that classic Libby combination set of uh, waterfowl. Um, I've sold shot glass set of this. I've sold small champagne glass set. So you got the uh, one I never can say right, canvas back. You've got the ring necked pheasant, the Canadian goose. And the grouse. So these are Pilsner style. I haven't sold the Pilsner style before. And then my last bird themed item. I never turned down a folk manis puppet, folk tales puppet in decent condition. His beak's still in good shape. You have to be really good to operate the beak, though. I haven't checked to see if those eyes glow at all yet. <laughs> um, but he was only a dollar, so I figured 10 to 20 I haven't really checked into his price range yet. But I figured I could get at least 10 in him. Uh, then, I guess this is kind of with that spring floral theme. Uh, I found this lovely uh, leaf uh, dish, which I believe is supposed to be a planter stand, because it is by Hager USA, number 263. Uh, and it obviously been at Goodwill before it had been at St. Vinny's, and it actually looks like they had another price on it before for a higher price, and I think it was $2 the week before, and they were like, never mind. Um, the only thing I could find wrong with it was this little defect right here, but it's definitely a manufacturer's defect because the glaze is in the, the line. Um, plus, it's meant to hold your plants, like another potted plant on top, so it's not meant to hold the water in. It's meant to help drain the water out, so I figured uh, that wasn't too bad. Um, but I, of course, would mention the manufacturer's defect in my listing and my this was a whole 50 cents I assume this once said made in Japan but half the stickers gone uh, but it's just a cute little funny wall plaque I'm not a fast cook I'm not a slow cook I'm a half fast cook I actually had one that was cast iron that with that saying that sold before but I liked the uh, mid-century modern image on it um, as well and then the one item I bought to keep was a whole 59 cents hazel atlas um, I guess jigger glass because this is definitely goes up to four three to four ounces um, so at least a jigger maybe a double jigger but it's probably not the best one to try and sell because it's kind of a not racist per se but Plus, it's a little faded, but it says when you're all, say when y'all, and it starts with down here, Yankees, and then uh, weevils, carpetbaggers, and to the top is for rebels. So, probably not the most politically correct thing to sell, but it's Hazel Atlas, so I know it's actually worth something, but it's for my own shot glass collection, even though it is a huge shot glass. It's like... If it's truly four ounces, it's four shot glasses in one. So, but everything else will either get listed probably at Etsy or eBay. I only use Macari if very rarely now. I, I have a few things still up there listed in case they sell where it doesn't really play to switch platforms now. They're just listed. Um, but for the most part, they'll either be in my Trash Couture Treasures Etsy or eBay stores, and I will put the links down below. Thanks for watching.